This is a molar solubility example. What is the molar solubility of copper 1 bromide in a 0.5 molar sodium bromide solution? The KSP for the copper bromide is 4.2 times 10 to the minus 8. All right, first of all, before we get started, let's think for a minute about what's going on here. Copper bromide, copper 1 bromide, I know it's copper 1 bromide because bromide always has a minus 1 charge in these ionic type compounds. So that means the copper, even though it's a transition metal, would have a plus 1 charge. And I can tell by the way the formula unit was written. Sodium bromide is a soluble salt. And I know that because salts of sodium are typically soluble. So the KSP here, even though it wasn't specifically stated, is for the copper 1 bromide. Also, since it wasn't otherwise stated, I'm assuming this is an aqueous solution. So the first thing you want to do before you get started then, after you've oriented yourself to what's going on, is think about what's going on in this aqueous solution. We have a 0.5 molar sodium bromide solution. That means that I have sodium and bromide ions, each one at a concentration, since they're at a one-to-one -one ratio with the formula unit and each other. Um, at a one-to-one -one ratio, and that means that the bromide ion concentration in this beaker to start off to start off is 0.5. So that's the bromide ion concentration. Okay, I'm going to put into this solution some copper one bromide. Copper one bromide is uh, not very soluble. The KSP is only 4.2 times 10 to the minus eighth. So I expect to have limited solubility of my copper to uh, copper one bromide, excuse me. Okay, and so um, the question here is, uh, what is the molar solubility in this case when we already have bromide ion in solution? Okay, so that's the problem here. So the first thing you want to do then is um, write down the um, the uh, the equation copper one bromide will dissolve to a limited extent to give copper ions in solution and bromide anions in solution. That's your reaction. Reaction, um, initially, of course, we never have to worry about the solid, what's going on with the solid, because there's so much excess solid, it doesn't factor into this expression. But initially, we're going to assume that we have zero concentration of the copper and we have to start off with a 0.5 molar concentration of the bromide ion. And then as this particular um, salt dissolves to a limited extent, the, so initially we're going to have that, the change is going to be, this is the reaction, this is in the initial condition, the change is going to be, since it's, it's going to dissolve in a one-to-one -one ratio, so I'm going to form a little bit of uh, copper ion, we'll just call it X, and a little bit of bromide ion, we'll just call that X. So in an equilibrium, when the, we reach the point of saturation, the amount of copper ion is going to be X, but the amount of bromide ion is going to be 0.5 plus X. Okay. So if we want to figure out the solubility of this particular compound, then we can write the ion product expression, and the ion product is that the KSP 4.2 times 10 to the negative 8th equals the concentration of the copper ion at equilibrium times the concentration of the bromide anion at equilibrium. All right, and X, of course, is going to be the, um, the solubility, so let's solve for X here. Um, since these are the equilibrium concentrations, I'll plug them into the equilibrium expression. That's going to be X times 0.5 plus X. Now you think about it, this is a tiny number times 10 to the minus 8th. So the X itself is going to be very, very small compared to the size of the 0.5. So to simplify the math here, um, when you have such a, a large amount of the, of the, what we call the common ion present already, I can ignore the X in this term right here. So I can simplify this to solve for X. It's going to equal 0.5 times X. And so when I divide, uh, to solve for x, all I have to do is divide both sides by 0.5. And when I do that, the x equals 8.4 times 10 to the minus 8. x equals the concentration of the copper ion, um, not the bromide ion, because the bromide ion is much higher. 
uh, so that's the concentration of the copper ion in this particular solution at saturation because of the presence of the common ion. And so um, since the copper ion is in a one-to-one -one ratio with this formula unit, I would say the molar solubility in this case, in the case with the common ion present, for the copper one bromide equals 8.4 times 10 to the minus 8 mol molar.